right out YouTube is it's Mark M0 VST and this is a what does my loop cover video stand by right I've picked up the loop on um, 40 meters the frequency is not in use uh, I've been listening for a little while there's a little bit of static you can see there hitting the screen and I'm about to transmit I'm about to put it onto FM and that's uh, one watt output that's five watts output you can see that the SWR at the edges so I can use this anywhere between 145 and 155 without them to retune so that is uh, that's a bit of a surprise actually 40 meters I weren't expecting that but a nice one for free let's move on to uh, 30 meters all right I've peaked the radio up the sound of on the radio on 30 meters let's just give it a quick carrier I'll turn the power down to half a watt first just in case we're wrong nope that's up the power to one watt. Oh, there you can see it. Right, that's up the power up to five watts. So this is 30 meters, yeah? Excuse me. So yeah, on 10.130, the SWR is zero on, on FM with five watts. Right, on to 20 meters. Right, I've peaked the radio. I've peaked, I've, well, I've peaked the noise at this frequency on this radio. Let's see. The frequency doesn't sound like it's in use. Let's have a quick listen. I can't hear anything. We'll try with one watt and see where the SWR is, where it wants to be. So, look at that. I've got an SWR of nothing there. So it's up to five watts. My sweet spot is there then. Two four yeah, fourteen point two four five. I have an estimate of nothing with five watts. Right, onwards to seventeen meters. Right, again I've peaked for maximum audio output. Let's see where we're at. Let's turn it down, the look power down to low power. Stick it onto FM and see how where we are. Well, no rest of you are with half a watt. With one watt. Nope, a little bit at the bottom. Two and a half watts. Oh, it covers all the band. And, f and five watts. There we go. So, I can operate on this band with five watts from 18.130 right through the top of the band without having to retune. That's nice, wasn't it? Right, on to 15 metres. Same as other tests, I've peaked for maximum audio output. Listen to that dog. Nice. Yeah, as for the last ones, I've peaked for maximum audio output on 15 metres. Set the power down low so I don't do any damage. Set it to USB, uh, to FM. Let's see what's happening. So nothing on that power output. Two and a half watts. Right. So I'm tuned up there. Yes, I've got an SWR. I'm just on five watts quickly. So yeah, it's just showing a bar, a little tiny bit of SWR on 15 meters, but that's with five watts. So I'm quite. That's quite all right. I'm happy with that. Right on to 12, me uh, 12 meters. Right as before. I've peaked maximum noise and uh, I'm going to stick it onto FM, not power down just in case. No SWR, 2.5 watts, no SWR, 5 watts, 1 SWR, oh no, no SWR. So 12 meters, you can get no SWR with 5 watts output. Right, last one on the 10 meters. Right. 
I've just tried to do the same test on 10 meters. I can't hear any audible difference on any peak. So I would say there isn't a peak because my capacitor doesn't go to the low enough um, value. Right, so 10 meters is not there. I can't do any 10 meters. I know for sure it can't do 10 meters because my capacitor is fully unmeshed. So there's going to have to be a little tiny adaption, I think. There's going to have to be something clipped in there so I can hit 10 meters. Oh well, 40 meters to 12 meters. That's not bad, is it? And I've, yeah, I've done the feed point. The feed point has got a nice grommet, as you can see there. It's just, uh, just hot glue gunned in there. Right, thanks very much for watching, guys. Next video you'll see, it will be uh, completely finished and I'll be operating with it, hopefully. 7 threes, thanks for watching. Bye bye, M0VST.